Hello, Sebastian Katz with AudioBro here. One of the most challenging areas of virtual instruments for both composers and developers is handling complexity. How do you take something fundamentally feature-rich and make it simple to use? For users of Logic Pro, our included articulation sets take deep features that would normally be relegated to many layers of unlabeled CCs or host automation and makes them instantly accessible right in Logic. It's like deep editing without all the editing. Let's dive in. The installation is quick and easy. First, look in your modern scoring strings folder in the DAW integrations slash logic subfolder. Drag this entire modern scoring strings folder into your music slash audio music apps slash articulation settings folder. If you don't see the Articulation Settings folder, that's okay. You can just make it yourself. You'll only have to do this part once. Next, open any modern scoring strings instrument in Logic. There's just one change to make. In the Snapshots menu, find the DAW Integration preset and load it. Finally, assign one of the included articulation sets to the Logic track, right here. There are a few options to choose from, which we'll go over in more detail later. But for now, let's start with a basic key switching example. Notice that there are some variations of the articulation sets with different key switch start notes. Believe it or not, at this point the integration is complete and you can start working right away. You can now key switch to any of the main articulations using pre-assigned key switches. But look here in the piano roll how I can also now assign detailed articulations to any sequenced notes. A quick bow change legato, a tighter variety of staccatissimo, trills in a specific key, or an ostinato that is set up to play just the way you like. All of that can be accessed in a click without ever leaving your music or touching a CC. Now, besides the quick access to all the features in modern scoring strings, there are other benefits to working this way. For one, your key switches won't show up in your editors and won't muck up your score view. And because your articulation changes are now embedded into the note data, it means that you never have to worry about moving an articulation key switch or CC data point if your notes move. Here are a few more helpful tips. Assign a key command to switch your piano roll view to color the notes by articulation, and then another to go back to coloring by velocity. This can really help with visibility. Earlier in the video, you might have noticed that there is actually a second DAW snapshot available to load in Modern Scoring Strings instruments. This secondary small stack emits the heavier RAM articulations like ostinatos and scales. If you're looking for a leaner setup, you can use the smaller stack and leave everything else as is. It will work, just without access to some of the articulations that require more RAM. So far, this setup guide has assumed that any customizations made to the modern scoring strings instruments are made after loading the DAW integration snapshots. If on the other hand, you've already set up instruments the way you like, changed a mix, ensemble, or otherwise, you won't want to load the snapshot since it will overwrite some of your settings. Instead, just add the DAW compatibility yourself. Here's how. First, open the switcher editor, Change the first tile switcher bank to Velocity Stack Mode, and then the second Tonality Switcher Bank to Velocity Stack Mode as well. That's all you have to do. Now we could stop right here, but for those of you who want more details on customization and advanced setups, let's talk about a few more things. First, let's go over some simple customization. You can of course open the Articulation Set Editor and change your key switches completely. Just look in the Switches section. You can change the notes used to switch, or use something else entirely, like CCs or program changes. These edits won't have any effect on the deeper settings menus you have access to in Logic's MIDI editors. If you'd like to add an additional key switch to get to one of the more advanced articulations in real time, all you have to do is hit the plus button, set up the switch, 
and then select the articulation that you want to use from the menu. On the other hand, if you want to pare down the full articulation list, you can do that too. Just access the Articulations tab, select the options that you don't want to see or use, and then hit Delete or press this little minus button. For those of you who have dedicated controllers to handle key switching, a touchscreen or iPad, a custom MIDI device, or a Stream Deck like I'm using here, you might actually want to work the other way. Start with a giant list of real-time switching options and then work backwards to get a customized list that you want to use. If you load the Master Articulation set, you'll see the Switches section is fully populated. The default version uses the velocity of notes C-2 and C-2 to access everything in the articulation list, but there's also a CC version that makes use of CC31 and 32 if you prefer. After loading this set, you would just select the switches that you want to remove and then delete them. The rest of the setup would be on your device to match the MIDI map used here, or vice versa. As a longtime Logic user, I found articulation sets to be life-changing. By including a wide variety of pre-made sets with modern scoring strings, we hope it will allow you to get up and running right away using some of the most advanced sub-articulation settings we have available in the library. Again, it should be like deep MIDI editing, just without all the editing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.